Good morning and welcome back to the Dog Lots It's channel. I know it's been a while but Christmas and New Year and kids all at home and yeah the usual stuff. But they've all gone back to school today so I'm back. So what we're going to play today is one that we've done before but there's been a new update. So we're playing Skybound with the Buzzy Bees update. So pop you want a gameplay so that I don't forget that bit. <laughs> right so all I've done is download it and this is where we start. So it's done by Netherpixel Studios, Dan Robs, Probs and Squidgy Face Play. And yeah, shows a lot of the other games. Oh, there's a cave update on that. I wasn't a fan of Chicken Block. It's Flat World Survival, we did that. Stone Block, yeah, we love that. Right, so, knowing Dan Rob's probs and Squidgy's map, we have played this before. I don't think there was any secrets in this room. So, show coordinates, yep. Difficulty, hard because of Enderman. Keep inventory, yep, because I'm a wimp. <laughs> Random tick speed. We'll go 10 so stuff grows quicker. Right, read me. Hello adventurer and welcome to the world of Skybound where all your skyblock dreams come true. With tons of new items, machines, blocks and mechanics there is so much to explore and do. This doesn't look like the realm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not on the realm. <laughs> I'll be on there. <laughs> but before you jump straight into the world of Skybound, you should adjust a few settings such as your difficulty, tick speed and coordinates. Think of this room as the admin room. Once you're all ready to go, head downstairs towards the black concrete wall. This will take you to the island elevator. Here you can purchase an island pass from the elevator attendant with your island token. Thank you for purchasing and playing our map. Skybound has been a passion project for quite a while now and we hope you enjoy playing it just as much as we do. Don't forget to rate, and there's Squidgy Face Plays and Dan Rob's Probs Twitters. Cool, and it's already given us an island token. Right, so, I don't think there's any secrets in here. Just going from what I remember last time, although it's been quite a while. I used to be an adventurer. <laughs> Hello house, how are you? Island elevator. Don't forget to pick your island colour before you leave. And there used to be something... Nope. There. It's empty! Ah, oh, the rotters. I think I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> right, dude. That's purple. Right, we'll have that one. Right, so we've got purple island pass, island elevator. Don't forget to pick your island colour before you leave. Yep. Right, so I believe that's the only secret. But yeah, the reason why you can pick an island colour is that this can be set up as a realm. Well didn't give me a chance to get in. So yeah, if you set it up as a realm, it means you can play it with your friends and they each get their own island. So, this is the purple island. You get a bit of purple concrete there. Usual skyblock start. You get a tree, you get some water. Plant that. Right, and then there's a little starting chest down here. Map there for how to do a cobbled stone generator, if you didn't know. Right, so it's given us a used pickaxe. <laughs> that was nice of them. Lava, bones, a couple of torches, some berries, and a hat. 
and it's purple. It has to be purple. Right, so we need to start how we always start and punch a tree. Trust you to get Purple Island. Of course. Introduction complete. Check your quest book. We don't have a quest book. Ah, it might be that thing over there. Had to get a purple island. You know me. It's always got to be purple. Purple or light blue. Because that's the close, closest to turquoise. Cyan's okay, but not as nice, in my opinion. Right, yeah, we've got fast tick speed on, haven't we? So trees will disappear quick. All them leaves. Right, so we've got to get across there to get to our quest book. Um, so I can vaguely remember this, but it has been a long time since we've played. Should do. Let's get across there as safely as we can. Right, we've got to be very careful with this island if I remember right. No water around here, otherwise, we'll flush this thing away. Welcome to the Skybound quest book. As you can see, this is your very first quest. By completing quests and tasks, you can make progress and get some pretty useful rewards in the process. Let's start this quest off by gathering some wood, and it's complete. And I get five oak logs for that. Right, now I've got to craft a crafting table. Can you see that I've done that? Yep. Plant an oak sapling. We have done that and it knows it. Then can you? Right, so next. We've done that. Come on, ting ting. Give me that thing. Right, maybe we've got to wait for it to grow, which shouldn't take too long with it being on the faster tick speed. Do we have... Aha! Uh -huh. I was going to say, do we have twerking? <laughs> I don't know yet. Now you're in the swing of things, let's try... Yeah, we've done that. Right, craft a stone pick, stone shovel, stone axe, stone hoe. Okay, so I guess we need some stone. And it was very nice to give us a cookie. Right, so we've got some iron there, but we're going to leave that alone for now. Just going to work on getting enough for the tools. So yeah, this is your typical skybound map, but with a lot of tweaks. Just thought it hasn't given us a bed, has it? I'm sure it did last time. Ah, no, it's one of the quests. I remember. Time to make the super slow stone tools. Yep, definitely. 
luckily this map isn't slow for long and our tree grew right in my way right so we want one of them some more of them did it ask for a sword? I know it asked for a hoe I think it wanted an axe so what was the fourth thing? it was either sword or shovel let's go shovel yeah see got a memory like a sieve <laughs> give me four things to remember nah right we've done that one beetroot seeds really because that's what I wanted wasn't it start by planting and harvesting some beetroot Plant a beetroot seed, harvest full grown beetroot. Okay then. Right. Um yeah, I think we need a light on shops are now closing. Okay. Ah, he gave us two torches. That's good. Right, so one for this island and one for this one. I know we've got some coal down there, but I believe we're going to need that later. So we have a hoe. Our wheat has already grown, so it shouldn't take long for the beetroot to grow. Right, so while we're waiting for that, we can chop a tree. Alright, I won't be using that anymore. Yep, turning that tick speed up is going to help a lot. saplings from that tree. Good job we already had plenty. Right, so we're just waiting on the beetroot. Could set up the cobble generator I suppose. Right, so I'm Could set it up here or do we move it? So we need water down that one. Block that one back up. Let's see if I can remember how to make a cobblestone generator now. And of course it rains. It always rains in a Dan Robs prob map. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's... that one 
crafting table. Oh, <laughs> press the right button. <laughs> right, I think that's how we do it. I think. Might as well plant that last one. Right, so do we have twerking? Don't think so. Let's try near the tree. No. Sometimes he puts twerking in, sometimes he doesn't. Right, so it gave us some lava down here, didn't it? But he was mean and didn't give it as in a bucket. <laughs> right, let's double check. There. Ah, yeah. Two block, one gap. Two down for the water. Yep, yeah, I have built that right. I've not built a cobblestone generator hundreds of times and still never remember how to do it. So, lava in there. Cavalier didn't even give us a bucket. Nope. I've messed that up, haven't I? How have I managed to mess that up? <laughs> Only me can mess up a cobblestone generator. What have I done wrong? Yeah, that bit looks right. Do we need to place a block there to make it start up? Why are you not flowing? Thank you. <laughs> I thought I'd messed it up then. Right, we can do this while we wait for the beetroot to grow. Right, it does give us some better ways of doing this later on. We can make an automated cobblestone generator. We make things like sieves and compressors and all sorts of things. All right, let's have a look in the crafting table, see what new things we've got. So we've got crushers for crushing the cobblestone. We've got, oh, industrial sieve. Don't remember that. Um, yeah, spruce sieve, water well, sieves, fishing traps, automatic fishing trap, we've got block breaker, we do make one of them soon, sieves in every colour wood, crushers, block compressors, dripper, anything else new? No chicken net, storage upgrade module, netherite cutlass, I don't remember these, netherite sickle, extract XP upon hitting a mob, that one is 17 attack damage against hostile mobs, netherite cleaver, increased drops from animals when killed, okay, I'm not going to get them until we've got access to netherite. Which takes a little while, um, but I think, where's the cobblestone generators? Conveyor belts. 
There's a cobblestone generator, so what do we need for that? We're going to need two buckets and glass. Stemmed. Ah, I remember that. That was from the funky flowers. The giant flowers you can make. A regular automatic sieve, a heavy automatic sieve. We've got botany pots as well. I've seen that there's been a few glitches with those on here since the update. They don't like dirt apparently, but we shall see. Sometimes you get different bugs on different coloured islands. So we might not have that bug if we're lucky. What else is different on here? Ah, here's the loot keys. Lots of different coins. Meshes or chunks. Clamshell. Ah, yeah, there's the fishing islands. Pearls. Lots of keys. Upgrade modules. There for the cobblestone generators. Storage upgrade, that's for the botany pots, not for your uh, normal storage. And we have some beetroot. Yay! Done. Alright, craftable craft beetroot soup. Really? Why be true? Oh, we've got a flaming beehive. Bye. Here's where I die. <laughs> Couldn't have a beehive on our only tree. Don't mind if we get one later, but not now. Did you survive, did you, Buzzy B? Well, at least one of yous did. Oh, no, you just died. I heard it. Oh, you're still there. Right, so how many beetroot do we need for beetroot soup? I don't know. Nope, don't want you there. Right, so back to here. Craft a bowl. Okay, we'll craft four bowls. Okay, we have enough already. Right, beetroot soup. How did our health regenerate that much? I don't know. Done that one. Right, now we'll unlock the teleport function. Use it to go to the market square and have a look around. Thank you, we will do. Because the market square is pretty cool, but again, keep water away from these. Very important, and lava as well. So yeah, don't build your islands on the same level. Because if water washes them away, it's very difficult to get them back. I don't know if anything's been added so the Ooh, we got some coins. We're gonna need them. Alright, just emptying inventory because there should be some things to find in the marketplace. Not a good idea to remove them though, is it? Not gonna need a shovel for anything, I don't think. And we're actually gonna eat our beetroot soup this time. Because I never did last time. It just sat in a chest for eternity. Teleport. You just walk up to it. 
Aha, yeah, right, so it is working properly. We have teleport back in case these teleporters don't work. I didn't have that bug, but I know some people did. And we got lots of YouTubers running around. We got Zloy XP there, Dibs is over there. Mr. Big Cheese Geek, I like watching his videos. We've got the trash bins, which are handy for getting rid of junk in. We didn't bring any junk. Because it'll give you another random item. You're not actually a zombie, are you? You don't move. Zombies don't move like that. Right, so these are all our trading guys that we can use the coins. We can also sell them things. Hello there, dude. Oh, you don't want to talk to me? Fine. That's the skin from Chicken Block. I used to run around in that one. Mr. Fisherman, you take coins for fishing passes for the other islands. Loot chest, that's where you put your keys in. But be careful that these guys don't run off with your items. Chef, if I remember right, I used to sell you baked potatoes. Right, so can we remember where any of the secrets are in here? I think I can remember a couple. Alright, florist. I don't think you buy flowers. I don't think we can click them from the back. It's only when they come to the front. Right, so you sell bone meal, mortar and pestle, super fertiliser. These are for the giant flowers. We'll get into them a lot later. Um, you sell flowers. You don't buy flowers, do you? No. Orchid orcs. Um, this is the minor guy. We can sell him stuff if he'd like to come forward so I can get to him. Hello, dude. Come here. Thank you. Right, so we can sell him or chunks. We don't have any yet. I was trying to remember what we can sell all these guys. Hello there, dude. You look strange. Hunter, he buys meat. What are you, chicken villager? Ooh. I remember that in one, there it is. We got some wet sponge. We got some kelp. Sea pickles, trident, seagrass. I remember that being better. Um, lumberjack. Please what do you sell? Right, saplings and logs together to get your coins. Okay, so we can sell him wood. Shepherd, you're the one that sells wool in order to get a bed. I think we've got to wait until the quest though, so that we don't have to do it twice. Right, what other secrets can I remember? Arcade. There were some secrets around the arcade. Right, so in the arcade, <coughs> I'll show you a couple of the things we've got. We have a few mini games to play. So again, there's these trash bins everywhere. You can play Catch the Chicken. They do cost coins though. So these are gold coins to play. We don't have any of those. So Catch the Chicken. We have Find the Button. Um, parkour. Yep, yeah, we're not going anywhere near that. Shoot the target. Craft the item. And then... Was there anything upstairs? I can't remember. 
But yeah, there's ender chests everywhere. Ah, these are the crane machines. Yes, because there's lucky blocks in this game, isn't there? So again, but I think these cost a diamond coin, if I remember right. I know they were very expensive. I don't think there was any secrets in here. Alright, that's the door we came in. This is the way to the player area. So you can zoom zoom down that bridge and I will do it later. Go and harvest a load of dirt for your island. But yeah, it makes you go super speedy. <laughs> but yeah, this is a building area that you can build in. So yeah, we usually come and pinch some dirt from in here early on. Um, I remember Granny Gamer, she did um, a fishing setup in here, an automatic fishing area. I never did that one. It does give you a lot of loot though. It's officially bedtime, so all the stall holders will go to sleep, but I believe this is a protected area, so I don't think we'll have any issues with mobs. So, secrets. Here's one. There used to be something in that item frame. You can never get to that one. We get some cobwebs, which they'll be handy for crafting the mesh. Can we pinch that? Nope. No berries to pinch. Yeah, this is somebody's cell, if I remember right. Did it not used to have a name? But yeah, these doors can be crafted from the stem blocks, from the funky flowers. So they're giant flower versions. And it has a new wood, which I remember that being much greener. So they've toned it down a bit. Right, there's another secret up there. Yeah, see, I can remember where all the secrets are. <laughs> We played it often enough to remember that lot. Ooh, this wasn't here before. Ooh. Let's have a nosy in here. This must be part of the Buzzy Bees update. Because this room was, wasn't was built. Stupid blocks in the floor. Right, so what do you sell? Bee boxes, glass jars, grass bee in a jar, cobblestone bee in a jar, amethyst bee in a jar, shears, gravel bee in a jar. Do we have a sand bee? That looks like it could be silt. What would that be? Moss maybe? No idea what you are. Skulk? I don't know. It looks like we've got some new bees. Um, the bee boxes were in the... was it called? Bee block? So we know how to use them. Any goodies for me? Um, can't remember which house this was. No goodies hiding there. Do you see anything up high? Yeah, because Dan Rob's probs and squidgy face players, they always like to hide stuff everywhere. But I don't see anything. There probably is something in there and I've missed it, but hey ho. Right, so next we're going to the portal one. Right, and we've got the button to relight it. Yeah, because we had that issue last time with the portal got blown up by a ghast and we couldn't relight it without going into creative to sort it. 
So at least this time we don't have to put cheats on because it looks like they've solved any issues you might have. And this is the secret. There is a shulker in there with a hopper. It used to have more in it than that. I'm sure of it. Hmm. Looks like they've made the loot not as good. And there we have our first mysterious trader. With his flying bats. Not going down there to get you, there's plenty of you around. <clears throat> right, what other secrets can I remember before we end it? Um, there is a box under there. Cyan's old tunic. Cyan Saber's cat. A lead and some fish to tame it. Cool, we'll take that. I knew there was a box under one of these stalls. I didn't know it was going to be the first one we looked at. <laughs> that was just lucky. Now there is a box up in this big tree but it's a bit of a nightmare to get to it because I'm not too good on parkour <clears throat> I did it last time eventually but yeah died a lot trying and there is something up there so let's see if I can remember how to do this missed See, this parkour is not too bad compared to others. Missed again! <laughs> oh, come on! It's not that difficult. Right, let's try Cyan's tip. Oh, no. Nope holding down control before you're ready to go. No, I mean that trap door open didn't help. No, I give up. I'll do that later. <laughs> I'll do that off screen. But yeah, you basically jump up onto there, onto there, Go around the building. Yeah, up there. Some up light. No, we're going the other way. We're going up there. I can't remember exactly how we do it. Might be from this side. But yeah, there's an invisible block there somewhere. It's probably up there, up there, and then on to there. But yeah, there's a couple of invisible blocks up there that you can jump onto. And then there's a shulker in this bridge area. If I remember right. Alright, where else was there? There's the where? Ah, yeah, them flowers. There's something hiding in those flowers. There it is. Lots of red stuff. Unfortunately, we can't take the shulker itself. <laughs> that would be handy. Right, and then there was the well. Now the well's a little tricky. Um, and there's something in here. Yeah, but we need the lever for that one. Right, there used to be coins in some of these barrels. But as soon as they've made it more difficult, we might not have them anymore. 
but yeah, you just have to search every barrel. And some buildings would have stuff in, and others wouldn't. But trying to remember them all, it was a long time ago. We have played a lot of games since. Well, we're having no luck today. <clears throat> Good morning. I see Mr. G's cake. Mr. Beard's. Why are you invisible? We've got an invisible person walking around with a pickaxe. Right, so. We need to go down the well, I think. Oh, you're not invisible, you're just out of render distance. Okay. Right, let's see if we can remember where the well bits are. This is where I probably end up drowning. Um, bam, bam, bam. It's a lot lighter in here than it used to be. Found it, but I need air. Helps if I get the right buttons. <laughs> right, so it was that corner, wasn't it? Let's eat the beetroot soup. I'm on an invisible block somewhere. Come on, let me in. Go. Conveyor belts. Netherite. There's the lever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember that being there like that. They've given the well a bit of an upgrade. Now there is also some other things down the well. Um, yeah, this is where you can find a trader. He lives down here. Now there is some. Mm, can I remember where them secrets are? Right. So here we've got a mysterious trader. He trades netherite ingots. He used to be netherite coins. He's gotten. Dang it, she survived. <laughs> so he sells lucky blocks, lanterns, music discs, swapped. Ooh, warp nylium. Dragon egg, phantom membranes, mushroom, ender pearls, totems, bottle of enchanting. Yeah, loads of good stuff. And then we have to unlock him. This is the only place that you can get your end portals from. So yeah, one netherite coin for three portals. So we're a long way off from that stage anyway. But yeah, and there's some secrets in here somewhere. Can I remember where? Not a chance. Because they added a new room in here. Now I did do it once. Something to do with under a lily pad, I'm sure. But yeah, the secret rooms and we've got levers somewhere or buttons. It was buttons, I believe. And they're under one of the lily pads. Hello there, fish. There's a lever. I didn't hear it open anything. Did it move those planks? 
And then the other one is in this window. Can I get to it? Can't even see it. I'll sell totem soon. Yeah, I need some for the realm, dude. You know me. I die lots. <laughs> but yeah, somewhere in there is another way to open. And that opens this. We should have partially opened it though, we're pulling that lever. Maybe we're supposed to do the button first and then the lever. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. There's a button. Well, I definitely heard that one. Aha! Right, maybe we should try the lever again now. Which one was it? I've lost it again already. It was one of the lily pads, that one. Right, well that definitely opened something. Not that to make it. Hmm. There. That opened a shulk. You kidding me? All that for some rotten flesh. That wasn't very nice. Rotten flesh? Right, there's another hole in the wall here. Nope. Yeah, we've missed something. Because that door's supposed to completely open. sure it was in there. You had to click something. Do we have to get under that lily pad? We can't swim in here, surely. No. I don't know. I'll have to go re-watch some old videos, I think, to figure that out. Because I know it's not an easy thing to do. There's no button in there, is it? No. Not hiding behind the lantern. Um yeah, so we'll go put the lever in. Because we got that, didn't we? Let me out, let me out. Let me out! <laughs> The only problem, there's invisible blocks to help you get out. Right, lever goes in this house because it's actually named, can be placed on crying obsidian. Which is your biggest clue for where it goes. It goes here. Which gives us leather and water bottles. Are you serious? Where's all the good loot it used to have? If I remember right, I can take that. Maybe I need an empty hand. Yep, I can pinch that. And I can also pinch this stool. Yeah, why it lets me break that and nothing else, I don't know. But if it's letting me, I must be allowed to. But yeah, there used to be loads of goodies. We used to get loads of coins everywhere and 
Yeah, so they've obviously made it a little tougher. Hello there, Mr. Big Cheesecake. Yes, I do like your videos. They're cool. This apple doesn't look very appetizing, does it? Is it just me, or does it look rather rotten? <laughs> oh well, gone now. So yeah, there's probably a couple of coins in chests in some of the buildings, but that'll take me a while. Ooh. Yeah, somehow we get up to there, and that helps us to get up to the tree. Which tree was it? There is a shulker hiding in one of the big trees. But that's some massive parkour to get to them. So, we shall leave it here for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. It's a very good game. Definitely one of my favourites that they ever did. Um, yeah, give it a go. If you have it already, it just needs the Buzzy Bees update, so you've got to download that. And then you get the new bee content. Ah, one other thing I didn't show you is the collectible shop. This was also an update that was done after it was brought out. Sky trading cards and bobbleheads. So in here you can get bobbleheads. And you buy them from this guy. Mystery bobbleheads, card box, friendly card booster pack, monster card booster pack, and combo card booster pack. So you get two of each for five. Two of each? So that's only four cards. You're getting three in them for the same price. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, we will dabble with those later on once we've got coins and stuff because we don't have many and we've still got missions to complete so we can't spend our coins at the moment. So how do we get... Did he sell bobbleheads as well? We yeah. Okay, so you've got to get mystery bobbleheads. You can't buy a specific one. Do they bubble? You don't bubble! Oh, how can you have a bobblehead that doesn't bubble? But yeah, they are cool to put on your shelf. I will be having some of those eventually. There's a lot to do yet. So, thanks for watching. I will see you guys again soon. I hope you like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And I will be back for another stream probably tomorrow now. Sorry it was such a long one, but hey-ha. Goodbye.